I previously set up one of these Sonoff Internet of Things relays and used the app, the eWe Link app, to switch it on and off using using the cloud. But what I really want to do is reflash this unit so I can connect it to my own MQTT server. So if you open this unit up, it's possible to connect this to an external programmer. So you'll see that on my unit here, I've added some pin headers. So you've soldered some pin headers onto the board, which enables me to connect a, um, a USB interface so that I can program it. So you see there, I've soldered some pins into the into the board. Um, so I should mention that under no circumstances should you try and program this unit while it's connected to the mains, because that would be extremely dangerous. But um, if you run it like this with the uh, with the external USB interface, then you can get the PC to uh, to provide power to the unit, and then you can safely reprogram it without danger of getting a, an electric shock. So there are a number of different websites that show you how to uh, re reprogram the ESP8266 on the Sonoff relay. I'm following a video by QuickPi where he goes through the whole procedure of uh, wiring up the ESP8266 and programming it using a tool called Platform IO. Now he, he does his on a Mac, but I did mine on Windows and the procedure is exactly the same. So you can follow that video with, with no problem at all. The actual firmware we're building is something called Tasmotor. And uh, Tasmotor Tas Motor is written by a guy called Theo Ahrens and uh, I will link his site in down below as well so that you can see see what's there. Now this is a, a very sophisticated um, very sophisticated uh, sort of operating system for the ESP8266 so um, Tas Motor is, is actually capable of driving all kinds of devices in, including the whole range of of uh, the Sonoff, different Sonoff relays. Um, but here we're obviously using it for something relatively simple, which is to just switch one, uh, one main switch on and off. So let's get to the main programming and, uh, and see how that looks. To put this into the programming mode, what you have to do is hold down the, the button while you power the unit on. So we power on then release the button and now the the device is ready to be programmed so we can get into the platform IO software and start the build to, uh, to upload new software to the uh, ESP8266. It takes a while to build the software because it's quite quite a complex thing. This uh, Tasmotor software. So that's writing to the ESP8266. So we're getting the new firmware on board. There we go. The lights have gone out now, so it's finished writing firmware onto the onto the uh, Sonoff. And there we go. So we've now got the new software compiled and loaded onto the Sonoff relay. So once again, let me remind um, 
please don't try and program this unit while it's connected to the mains. If, you, if you've got the mains power connected to the Sonoff relay while you're programming it, then uh, you might get a shock. Now we've got the new firmware installed in the Sonoff relay. There are a number of different ways that we can control the uh, the load that we've got attached. So I've just attached this USB wall socket. Um, so this is the mains load that I'm going to be switching. So uh, one useful thing is that the button here has been repurposed now so that it will switch the relay locally. So I can press that and that will switch the uh, the relay directly. But I can also go to the, the web page, click this button on the web page. So this 107 is, is the address that the Sonoff relay had when it, uh, when it finished rebooting and it came back up and connected to my network. So 107 is the Sonoff relay. So I can use this button here to click stuff on and off. Um, but we can also use MQTT which was the whole purpose of this exercise. So rather than use the MQTT server that belongs to the you know the, the Sonoff people uh, and using this eWe link um, app that that you can download for the iPhone. I want to use my own MQTT server that I've got running here so if we look in the configuration under MQTT. So you see here, this is this is actually the IP address that I put into the software when I built it with the platform IO um, development environment that I showed you. So so 61 address 61 is my local MQTT server that's running in a in a Linux box, in fact. And uh, this is important here. The topic. This is actually how you address the uh, this particular relay when you're using MQTT. So if I if I change that to something else, let's say diamond. So the relay just rebooted itself. That's reconnecting now to the Wi-Fi. Now let me bring in my MQTT client. So I'm using this software MQTT.fx which is a, a free client that you can run on Windows or on Mac. So I'm going to set up a local MQTT server now. So let's say local server the address 61 is my Linux box okay I'll connect there and I'll subscribe and what I'm going to subscribe to is a stream called stat I need to use the name of the Sonoff relay which I call diamond and I'm going to look at result. Now if I press the button here as you see I can I can see the status messages coming out of the relay so when I click the button here I get power on if I click the button off I can see power off um, so what you what you can do up here you can also uh, you can put in the wildcard which is hash in MQTT so we can look at hash instead of result let's just unsubscribe from that one and similarly so now we, we not only see the result message but we also see this power power message here 
which have slightly different information in them. So that's quite nice. So we can monitor the MQTT stream, we can see what's going on. But what becomes even more interesting is if we can also control this relay from MQTT, and in fact we can do that. So if we go into Publish, so if I want to actually control the relay, I say Command, and then again the name of the relay, Diamond. I'm going to say power. And then similarly, the parameter is on here. So if I say publish now, so the relay clicks and the power is now on. If we look back at our subscription, we can see that we're still getting these messages, the power on, power off messages. And if I put off in here, I can click the relay off. So this this is pretty good because I can now monitor what the relay is doing through internet connected devices. I can control this relay uh, similarly using the client across the internet. Uh, and this is all using my own server inside the house which is much better than relying on this unknown server up in the cloud um, where what, whoever or whatever is, is controlling that and, and watching the traffic. Well, there you are. It's relatively easy to build the TASMOTOR software from, uh, from Theo Ahrens and to load it into your Sonoff uh, and get more control over where this thing is connecting to and uh, get it better integrated into your own uh, MQTT software uh, in the home. Please feel free to leave comments down below. I always like to see comments and uh, thank you very much for watching.